Okay, question 4a, we're asked to simplify the following. So get your highlighters out, all your circles, uh, so, uh, all your pens that you circle with. So we've got 4y here. You've got nothing else with y in it, so forget it. You've got positive 2x here. Remember to include the sign with the piece of algebra. So you've got positive 2x and positive 3x. And lastly, your numbers, you've, well, you've got negative 3 and you've got positive 8. So we need to combine these. So 4y stays as it is. Now, positive 2x, add another 3x, is going to be positive 5x. So, so far, so good. Now, this is where students struggle. Negative 3, add 8. Draw a picture if you are unsure. Always mark in 0, right? You're at negative 3 over here. And you add 8. You're adding 8 that way. Where do you end up at? Well, 3 will get you to 0, and the other 5 will get you 8 along, will get you to 5 here. So the answer must be add 5. Okay? Or negative 3 and 8. You can just think of it as 8 take away 3, because you've got a positive 8 and you've got a negative 3. If you combine a positive 8 with a negative 3, you get positive 5. Okay. Factorise fully the following. So what you're going to do is the first thing you're going to deal with the uh, number. And you're going to ask yourself what number divides into 9 and 6. Okay, what number divides into 9 and 6? Or what number is 9 and 6 in its times tables? So um, the biggest number you can think of is 3. So you factorise out a 3. Then what you do is you deal with the algebra, okay? So the algebra, you've got an x squared and an xy. What term or what variable is in an x squared and an xy? Well, there's an x. Then you open up your bracket, and you're going to put a subtract in for that subtract there. Now, what needs to go here when you multiply it by 3x, you get a 9 and x squared. Well, you need another 3 because 3 times 3 is 9, and you need another x because x multiplied by x is x squared. What needs to go here to get a 6 and an xy? Well, you need a 2 because 2 multiplied by 3 gives you the 6. You've got an x, so you just need a y there. So the answer would be 3x, 3x subtract 2y. Okay, part C. Expand the following. Now, this is going to be, this means 4 multiplied by x plus 2. So 4 multiplied by x is 4x, and 4 multiplied by positive 2 is positive 8. Whatever you do, this is what most students do. It's only one mark, this, so if you get this wrong, they do 4 multiplied by the x is 4x, and then they just add the 2. They forget it's 4 multiplied by 2, okay? Or they do this, somehow they get 4 multiplied by x correct, and then they do 4 plus 2, which is 6. Okay? It's not. It's 4 multiplied by x, 4x, 4 multiplied by positive 2, positive 8. Okay? So be careful not to fall for those tricks. Okay, and then the last one, expand and simplify this. Well, there are two ways of doing it. One way would be uh, a little table here. You do Okay, so what you'd have is something like this. So you'd put an x and a subtract 5 along here, and you'd put an x and plus 3 here. So plus 3 here. x multiplied by x is x squared. x multiplied by uh, negative 5 is negative 5x. Positive 3 multiplied by x is positive 3x, so positive 3x. And positive 3 multiplied by negative 5 is negative 15. Okay, so then you combine these two. So you've got a 3x and you take away a 5x, that's negative 2x. So you'd write your x squared, you'd write your negative 2x or subtract 2x, and negative 15 as follows.